What is going on, people of the YouTube universe? My name is The Explosive List, and today, welcome back to the next installment in the next day in Music Week. Now you're wondering, how are you going to have seven videos all about music for the next six days? And you know what? I don't have your answer right now, but I got the answer for this one. We're going to be looking at my rare-ish rarer records that I own. Oops, you already saw one. But it's okay, it's the one that you uh, you saw last video. You watched the last video, right? If you haven't watched the last video, click out of this video, go to, the, go to the most recent one. That's not this one. So, let's take no time to chit chat. Let's get down to business. Of course, You've got the beautiful, you've got the sexy Rush 2112 in concert. The legendary broadcast, limited edition on violet vinyl. Man, that just, that just rolls off the tongue. Violet vinyl. Violet vinyl, violet vinyl. Violet vinyl, violet vinyl, violet vinyl. Just roll, rolls off the tongue. That's what it does. That's what it do. Now, I wouldn't say this is that rare, but I did end up pre-ordering this, and it took about a month and a half to get here. Got it in like September, October, November. Probably September, October. It took about a month and a half to get here. We're talking about XXX Tentacion's re-release 17. 17 and only reason why I'm including it as rare is that I don't think you can buy these Anymore, they do have a black version of this somewhere in the, On the internet, but this is the more rare -er, or more just the different piece It's on black and white vinyl Look at this. This side is okay. This side is way more beautiful. Ooh, look at that. I Love this it's very simple, it's very nice, it's very sleek. Sleek design, love it. It sounds great too. Sounds great, is a, is a decent album. It's the lowest rated album that I actually have, which I, I gave it a four, I believe, a four out of 10. Um, That is basically it for this. I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of showcasing all my fun vinyls that I have here. So, next up to the plate is that we actually have a little bit of a limited edition piece that I actually haven't reviewed on this channel yet. So this is the first time you're ever gonna see this. And it's one of my, is it the newest edition? I believe this is the newest thing I've bought. And that was, either December, it was in December of last year. And we were talking about none other than Violent Femmes. Happy New Year, EP, single, I, I would say EP, EP. And uh, I'm not done yet here. All instruments and lead vocals recorded live together in one room in one take on New Year's Eve. This came out in 2015, so this one have been New Year's Eve 2014. This is the front. I did see these guys in concert, and they were absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is the back here. Love this picture. This is the first piece of music, the first new recordings that they had done in 15 or so years. Yeah, it, is, it had been a while. Yeah, it had been a while since they got together. That's Gordon. Good old Gordon Gano, my man, my man, Brian Ritchie. And this dude right here who actually responded to me on Instagram, and I talked to him a little bit, Blaze Garza, who is Blaze Garza, bass, saxophone, and piano. This dude is, Blaze Garza is so talented. He is so good. And if you thought this was, why, why is this so rare? They limited these to 1,500, fifth, excuse me, 1,500 copies of this. 
for a record store day 2015. And th this was a this was later this was on vinyl first, and then it was released to digital, I believe, in June of 2015. And you might wonder, oh, okay. No, we're not we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Probably the coolest, one of the coolest colors besides the violet. Champagne colored vinyl. Champagne colored. You can see my hand through it. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Champagne color. It's like a very light orange. Light orange. Yummy. So yummy. And the songs on here are even yummier. But this isn't a track list. Will I review this for a future episode? Of course I will. Of course. It just hasn't gotten to the time yet. Because we're only 10 episodes into Violet Chronicles and I got like 40, 50 records. So it's going to take me quite a while. Now this next one, this next one is weird. And so, and very rare. This is pro, no. I'm actually going to save this for the last one. Well, I'm, I'm going to save that for last. This one has a story. Now, you've already seen this one before in a video a long time ago. When I went up north to uh, RPM Records in Traverse City, Michigan. Shout out to those guys out there. Shout out to the guy out there. Um, very nice man. Will I be back to that record store? You damn well should think it. Because, of course, Music Week, Kurt Cobain... Rest in peace, brother, even though died an unfortunate death. And this guy down here, where's he at? The guy down there? Yeah, Foo Fighters. Yeah, Foo Fighters. Now, this is this has a story. So I walk into RPM Records, okay? And I'm just, I am just, because it's just wall to wall. There's vinyl everywhere. And there's good stuff. There's the rare stuff. They had, oh my god, they had so much good stuff. They had David Gray on vinyl. Who has David Gray on vinyl? Who? Tell me who. I do. But tell me who. Who else? Who? Tell me. Please. Man, but this one right here. Um, I saw it. And then I saw that this was just a single piece. Two songs. And I saw the second song on here, and I was like, because I wanted to find this on vinyl so bad, but I literally could not find it on the internet. I couldn't find this on the internet. I could not find this on the internet. This is the 16 Saltines. I have already talked about this, but I'm just going to talk about it again. 16 Saltines. A side, B side, love is blindness. Oh, guys, I've only played this like once or twice, and Love is Blindness on vinyl. <gasps> it's not even on Blunder. It's not even on Blunder, boss. It's not even. That's why it's so rare, to me, at least. But man, are you kidding me? Love is Blindness. Oh my God, so good. 16 Saltines is a good song regardless. But the fact that this has Love is Blindness on it and I couldn't find it on the internet, makes it rare now this last one this last one i couldn't even find in the united states of america the united states in my country in my country i could not find this i had to go to i had to go through discogs to find this because i have wanted this for i wanted this for a long time i think this is my most recent purchase actually this is my most recent purchase and I have not shown it on camera. So I'm very happy to um, say this. <laughs> um, I had to go to England. Didn't go to England, but I had to buy this from England. And this, this, set, this set me back though a little bit because uh, it's, it's rare. It's very rare. I mean, solely on the fact that it's not available in the United States and only in other countries, just kind of it's like, oh, we we're talking about Leon Bridges, Louisiana Sun, from the Coming Home Sessions. The kind of perfection 
This kind of perfection is always relevant by NPR, featuring never before released songs from the coming home, from coming home sessions. Louisiana Sun. Did I ever think I was gonna hear this? Or have this on vinyl? Because the reason why I got this and the reason why I didn't get the deluxe on vinyl is because it does not exist. I can't find it. It just doesn't exist. This exists though, and this is nice. This is very rare, this is very special. This is gonna have its own episode at some point. It's like, what? It's small, you're wondering like, how big is this? This is a 10 inch. This is a 10 inch record. Not a seven, but a 10. This is a full 12. And then this is the seven for comparison, or the 10 rather for comparison. Like, you can't get any more weirder than this. Like, they're, I don't even think they make 10 inch sleeves. Because we're gonna, we're actually gonna go through these track because it has, there she goes in Daisy May, and then side B, side B makes me cry. Side B makes me wanna just shrivel up into a ball and cry because I have this in my hands. We have Mississippi Kisses. That's such a good song. And then here in my arms, <sighs> if you have not listened to Here in My Arms by Leon Bridges off of the deluxe edition of Coming Home, you really need to. It's very short and it's beautiful and it's about love and it's, oh, it makes me cry. And, I'm, and I sing it all the time and I'm really good. I think I'm really good, but I'm probably not really good. And then we got Out of Line. Out of Line is that, ooh, Out of Line is that. That like 50s, like soda bar feel. It's like, hey, uh, 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 uh. Again, this is the rarest record that I have on the fact that it's 10 inch, had to get it from the UK, took two and a half weeks to get here, and that's it. That is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I just, I wanna, I wanna end on this. This is a good way to end. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, this has been looking at my rare records. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday, for which I have no idea what video I will do. I'll have to figure it out. Peace out, everybody.